Welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. I was watching a video by Joseph Morris and this was quite disturbing in that um, I think someone on a social media site um, with Rockies back online with two young kids and they look between probably what would you say probably 11 and 12 maybe maybe a little bit older 13 but um it is quite disturbing let's just listen to what he says and i'll comment after rocky blew his cover in his most recent live stream hanging out with youngins and then this weekend there was a huge bus for transporting people like this in the area. 14 people have been arrested in Tenerife for being part of a wow. ring in... Uh, I think that says it all, people. That really does um, say it all. ...on the island. Um, also, over 200 people have been identified who bought... ...from the uh, content created by these people. There's something definitely really weird going on on Terra Reef. And I really do feel like Warren could have just ex spoke. I totally agree. I, I absolutely totally agree with it. That's all I'm going to um, basically say on that. But I did find it a little bit off key and disturbing um, that um, AF was seen with um, people hanging around with people a lot younger than himself and now Rocky um, like I said it's just a little bit off key and this obviously criminal network um, has come up and yeah uh, is it that a lot of online sleuths and even Warren have uncovered other things sick things that actually go on in um, Tenerife I'm going to read a message. This was interesting because Rocky apparently was online the other day and someone said to me, uh, I've actually sat on the fence through all of this, um, the Jay Slater case, but I was on a live TikTok on Saturday night with a friend of mine. We are in different countries. The live was with Rocky and Ayub. They were talking about um shite about cars we both knew what we were doing and hit them hit them with different angles my friend claire asked why a applied about him being at the rg the rgn festival and his face fell um for me i asked why they had um run to somalia a immediately a immediately left the screen and Rocky screwed up his face and said, Nanny Collie, because that's my name on TikTok. He said, what shit, shite are you talking? He said he wasn't in Somalia and that is possible for him, but A, it definitely is. I immediately got a message um, from Ricky's mother saying, leave, leave it effing out. Uh, her words, not mine. I then got a little bit shaken then we came off the live. Unbelievable, can all be seen. Everyone saw and heard him, or them uh, both having a wobbly. I went on to share pressures on and people want the truth and mainly the family. So people are having interactions um, with Abe and Rocky, but they're much like Lucy, Brad and Brandon who hasn't said anything. They keep in the narrative. They don't want to discuss it anymore. They don't want to go away. And like I said, if Rocky is saying Ayup is out of the country, there's a possibility um, he could be in Somalia. Um, we don't know that for sure, but all we've got is um, word of mouth. And I thought that I would um, uh, put that out there because any information... Um, is good but like I said it seems like they've been a bit irritable because this isn't going away and also um, Rocky mentioned in his live um, wax and filtered how we wanted to um, fight him why why 
talk about violence and fighting someone who's just basically fighting for the truth, like myself, like many other content creators, content creators um, who want justice for Jay Slater. Oh, this criminal underworld that the private investigator, Mark Williams Thomas, discussed was a part of Jay Slater's disappearance. Do you guys think Warren just revealed the network that took his son? Did you guys see the flashes of light and Mitch? Yeah, it's very odd. I think they were being watched. I, I don't think we get too carried away in there, but there are, I think, um, secret tunnels, um, which I think it may have been the Lady 1111 um, and uh, other YouTubers that mentioned it could have even been Joseph Morris about some of these tunnels. Um, but there's so many videos out there. But um, it is alarming. Um, like I said, these two guys, um, Rocky and Ab, um, moving with young people. That's really, 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 really odd. Are we onto something here um, at the end of the day? Because, like I said, um, people are keeping a close um, eye on them and they can't get with anything, which is good. Welcome back to the second part. Um, we're going to move on to a video um, from uh, uh, Daz Delivers. Um, he's on about Chris Tenerife um, acting a bit shady. This is very, very interesting in what he has to say. Yo, guys, I am no detective, but who noticed in Chris Tenerife's video how edgy and sketchy and paranoid he seemed on his last video. I watched it last night and I thought, what a guy, what a legend. But why is he so nervous? Why is he looking around? It's like he knows something that we don't know. So my message to Chris tell me first, if you've got something to say mate, then we got have you got any like, doubts or worries or anything like that? Speak to the family or even like Message someone in power. I think that, to be honest with you, every time I've said, I've not watched a lot of him, I just can't listen to him because I, I think he's honestly lying. I don't think he's telling the truth. And I've also, I get feelings um, about people that there's something not quite right. And I feel that he's not being himself in this case. And I think a lot of it I see from Chris is fear of people knowing the truth and that it could implicate him. This is what I see. Our authority and uh put into this madness. But watch his video guys, it just seems like on edge and kind of like worried and literally like he knows something that we don't know and he's but he's too scared to say anything. I just can't understand. I can't quite put my finger on it myself. Yeah, maybe, like I said, he's been threatened. And because don't forget, he has a business in, in Tenerife. And I think he knows a lot more than what he lets, lets on Chris Tenerife. We're not accusing him, but my point is, is why are you acting a little bit off key, shady and I honestly don't believe that he's 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 another one who keeps to just the narrative that Jay walked off into the mountains and had an accident. And like I said, I just don't believe that. I just think he knows more. I'm sure you can if you catch my drift. So my message would be, Chris, seek out me before it battles your brain. Or was he just genuinely... I suppose worry about waking the neighbours up or worried about I don't know he just seemed on edge and he doesn't seem to be the type to be on edge you know and if it is true what I'm saying then who's after him or does he that was my thought this is my thought in that and actually seeing him, I think something, he's seen something and something shook him up or he knows what goes on on that island. He knows about that mafia. Chris is not stupid 
and like I said, I think he's got to be careful in him what he says. It's like what this guy says at the end of the day. Technically, what is he afraid of? Does he know something? Or someone is on to him? Mm, it just seems weird. Weird behaviour. Because it's not the type of behaviour you kind of do when you're on the phone, but he was like looking to the sides and he was like looking around. And I ain't no psychologist or counsellor, but if you need a chat, mate, you know my my uh, direct message inboxes. Just give us a shout any time. But seek out, man, before it's too late. Totally agree with what this guy's saying. I thought he's made some great points there, um, but. Uh, he is recently acting really, really um, off key and in recent videos, um, which are people, um, I think apparently I've not heard anything or any of the channels um, actually mention him in, in a few weeks. So I think him and Luggy have gone absolutely dead quiet. But like I said, sometimes we don't know what people are thinking or what are they even hiding. And I've, it's funny before I play this video, but um, people, if you've got any uh, more information on a Nicol Andrea, which is N I C O L L Andrea, which is the surname is A N D R E A, uh, Nicol Andrea, was last seen in Arona on Tuesday, August the 20th, 2024. It's been one month since the 16 year old went missing. Oh, he is um, five feet tall, medium build, has brown wavy hair and brown eyes. At the time of his disappearance, he was wearing black trousers, black flip flops and a red shirt. If you have any information, you can contact SOS Missing Persons or the 24 hour helpline plus three four six four nine nine five two nine five seven or plus three four six four four seven one two eight zero six eight zero six or contact missing person Tenerife if you need help to make a report but um so this came out on the 22nd uh sunday the 22nd at 10 past eight um which was yesterday so if anyone's got any updates or any other information, because I, I, I've gone through the whole, quite a few newspapers, and there's not much information on this. And it's absolutely incredible how many actual people go missing. And there's just like little um, reports on it. It's just absolutely unbelievable. This is what I think they do. They just put little reports out there. And if nothing says or people don't bring it up, and then the police don't mention it again. Gone missing in Tenerife, and it's making people question if there's something more sinister going on. 71 year old Mark went missing with his wife in April. His wife was later found floating with a bag on her head. Yeah, and he was never found. This was the Belgium couple, and I actually think uh, people are wondering whether it had anything to do um, with the mafia or um, even the boat um, that was stolen, the Maruba. And two of her legs missing. 17 year old Noelia has been missing since the 23rd of January. 51 year old Marek went missing on the 8th of June. Natalia and baby Vladimir have been missing since March with police suggesting a possible parental abduction. 44 year old Reiko hasn't been seen since the 15th of March when he was out for a drive and he is considered vulnerable. Marielle and two-year-old Sebastian also went missing in March in what is believed to be child abduction and they're believed to have left the country. Finally, 60-year-old Juan Gonzalez has been missing since the 13th of January. All of these people have gone missing in Tenerife. Yeah, yeah. And the reports are minor. I mean, the Belgium couple, that was quite big um, because obviously um, that was, you know, 100% um, dodgy and murder. 
um, that was. But it actually makes you think what the hell is actually going on. And earlier on, I was talking about child, um, uh, basically exploitation. Um, it's dangerous world we actually live in. And are we uncovering um, a lot more than what we thought? Let me know what you think and don't forget to subscribe to Streamer Entertainment. Thank you very much indeed.